beauties i hope you're excited for today's video i have a whole bunch of empties of products that i've used up and i'm going to be giving little mini reviews about whether i loved it or whether i'd buy it again but i've actually used up all these products so um you know that i have a good impression of whether they're good or not so i hope you're all doing well today as you can tell it's very bright and sunny in la today even though it's the middle of January, you know, I don't feel like it's winter at all here, which is kind of awesome. But for all of you that are in colder climates, you have my sympathy. I've lived there before and I know what it's like this time of year. It's like, oh, I just want it to be warm again. You're kind of over the cold, but hopefully this video will bring a little bit of cheer to wherever you are in the world and stay tuned for my mini reviews of all my empties. Okay, so I've divided all my products up into skincare, hair care, and makeup. So we're going to start out with skincare. Um, first of all, I used up a lot of products from Bath & Body Works this month. Um, used up a lot of hand soaps and um, shower gels. I love Bath & Body Works, something that I'm always going to be repurchasing, especially during sale season. Um, some L'Oreal Clean Artiste Makeup Remover. I actually don't really love this. I just kind of needed to get rid of it but I wouldn't really recommend buying it. Um, EOS Shave Cream, I loved this. Was kind of skeptical since it's a different formula, but it was awesome. This AMPM Wrinkle Cream, this has been in a favorites videos. I've loved this, I've got this from Lucky Fab. Super hydrating, um, dual type of facial moisturizer. I also used up this Eucerin Redness Relief. Um, didn't really love this. It was pretty expensive. Um, I suffer from redness on my skin and really this didn't help or kind of any improvement at all. So I wouldn't repurchase this item. Next up from the body shop, I have this chamomile silky cleansing oil. This was awesome to get my makeup off before I wash my face, especially for the price. I loved it, great for sensitive skin. Definitely will be repurchasing this. Next, some Neutrogena Redness Relief um, face wash. Didn't like this. I was actually told by my dermatologist this is not the best thing to be using, so I was already pretty low on it, but I ended up tossing it. Next, I have some Vita Liberata um, two to three week tan mousse. This is great. Um, I got this in my Lucky Fab gift bag. Could definitely notice a difference. It applied really easily, very streak free, and I will probably be repurchasing this again. I don't really know where to get it at, but probably Sephora or something like that. Next, I have some number seven Skin Beautiful Wipes. I love my face wipes, especially for lazy nights. Um, and sometimes I have a problem with wipes irritating my skin. And these were from Target, and I really like these. These have been in my favorites videos. Some EOS Hand Cream. Love this. I've definitely repurchased this before. Um, next, I tried this Proactive skin revitalizing system you pour the liquid into here and then you get 30 pads and it's supposed to help with breakouts and i didn't notice any kind of improvement for these i was really unimpressed so definitely wouldn't recommend that from proactive um next for acne spots i tried a new spot treatment and i hated it it was a, i had a terrible reaction my skin got all flaky it's um from Target, it's the Up and Up brand. It's the Benzol Peroxoid Gel. So if you have um, sensitive skin, I would stray away from Benzol Peroxide. I find that salicylic acid is better for my skin. And then last, I got this little sample of from Lush, the Mag Mask of Magnanimity. And this is like a raved about beauty product. And I was so unimpressed. I really hated this. I used it like one time and I'm not even gonna use it again. Um, it was irritating my skin. I don't think it made it look any better. I actually really love the Lush Odafix mask, which is much more inexpensive and just a better product in my opinion. I'll link my re review of that below. Okay, so next we're gonna jump into hair care. I don't have as many hair care products, but um, one of my go-to favorites is the TG Catwalk Curls Rock Amplifier. I love this if you have curly hair, it's awesome. I have like 10 bottles of it probably purchased um, over my lifetime. Next is the Pantene Pro V Detangler. This was okay, I'm not gonna repurchase it again. If you kinda need an inexpensive detangler, it does the job, but it's nothing special. 
versus this awesome it's a 10 leave-in miracle treatment conditioner plus keratin this is an awesome detangler i love this it's so expensive it's like 20 dollars for this little thing but honestly it lasted me a really long time and it's just an awesome product if you have tingly hair um next is the John Frieda Frizz Ease Dream Curls. This is a great product just kind of to refresh curls. I kind of use this as a restyler if you're ever looking for a product like that. And then also from two items from my Lucky Fat Bag. One is the John Barrett Be Cleansed Weekly Shampoo for color treated hair. I color my hair and this was awesome. It was really gentle. It's kind of a clarifying shampoo that I would use once a week. And next is this big sexy um, hairspray and I really didn't like this. I mean, it did a good job giving my hair volume and body, but the applicator was terrible. Like, I don't know, they need to improve this because you can't even like, like I can't even move it, I can't even spray it because the hairspray just like stuck on here so much. Like there's so much product I didn't even get to use because the applicator is made so terribly. So I'm not gonna be repurchasing this skin because it's just a big waste if you can't even use it. And then lastly, I have makeup items. Um, I don't have as many makeup items. I don't think I go through these as quickly as some of my other products. Um, but I definitely have some favorites in here that um, I want to share with you guys. So I used up one of my Jouer Matte Moisture Tints and I love this stuff. It's awesome. It's probably one of my favorite foundations ever and I've actually already repurchased it. So it's a little pricey at almost $38 but this lasted me a really long time. I will say if you are skeptical about your shade, I would go a shade lighter than you think you might be. Um, I found that this runs a little bit dark, so I actually bought the shade lighter this time when I repurchased it. Next is the CoverGirl Outlast 3-in-1 Foundation. This is awesome. Great drugstore product. Probably my favorite drugstore foundation, and I would definitely rec recommend you purchasing this. I was in 820, and it was really the perfect shade. Um, next I have three mascaras actually, um, the Too Faced Better Than Sex, love this, this is probably one of my all time favorites, um, benefits they're real, I do really like this especially if you like a natural look in your eyelashes, and then I have this Sephora Full Action one, and this is one of their colored mascaras, it's their blue, and I kind of went for the cheaper version and a blue one, like Dior has a really good one and a few other brands, and I was kind of unimpressed with it. It's not very voluminous, the color isn't very vibrant, so I'm not going to be repurchasing that. Next I have a concealer from Maybelline, it's the Super Stay Concealer. Ultimately I wasn't too impressed with this. It went bad and the product actually started turning pink like from the label I think and so that was kind of gross and I was just, it was okay but I wouldn't be repurchasing it. Now, next is the e.l.f. Eyelid Primer. I love this stuff. It's only a dollar and it works really really well I think if you're not doing a heavy complicated makeup look, just a few simple shadows I think it really does the trick. Next, um, I have uh, several lip products here. I have an EOS lip balm. I love these. Um, I've repurchased them before. I will say they do get pretty gross. Like this one is, if you look in the, the container, it's just gotten really disgusting. And there's probably still product left, but, product left, but I had to throw it away because it just got too gross. Next is the Vaseline Lip Therapy. I actually use this all up. Um, and I have another one that I've been using, so I really like these. And then my Maybelline Baby Lips. I really love these and I used it all the way up. Um, I love this peach colored one. It's great just to give your lips a little bit of color and they're really moisturizing. So then lastly, also from Sephora, I have one of their colored eyeliners. This is in like a bright purple color. These are only like $5 and if you want a really crazy color, they do a really good job and they're really good quality. So I would recommend those. And then lastly, I have a bronzer from Physicians Formula. Um, you can see that there's still product in this, but it was getting kind of old, so I thought I would toss it. But I did really love it. Um, this one is their Organic Wear Collection. Um, the Natural Origin Bronzer, Natural Glow Bronze Organics from Physicians Formula. I think Physicians Formula bronzers are great for, with people with paler skin. They work really well for me, especially these dual-toned ones. So. I really loved this as well. 
Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed my empties video. That's all I have for you today. Um, hopefully it was helpful and let me know what you'd like to see more of this year from wheezywee.com and my blog um, and all my YouTube channels. I definitely love to write about more what you guys wanna see. So let me know what you wanna see more of in 2015. Have a great rest of your day, bye.